You're watching On the Red Carpet. Get the latest Hollywood news brought to you by Pacific Rim Photos and Videos. Your eye on the red carpet. First stop on the red carpet is the premiere of Guillermo del Toro's Pacific Rim, which featured an Asian uh, triple threat. And that is in the form of Asian Canadians, the Lou Triplets, and Chris talks to them about representing in Hollywood. Release for drop. So my name is Mark, my name is Charles, and my name is Lance. The way that we got into this industry as well, we just want to pave a path for the Asians, you know, that um, a lot of stereotypes and perception how Asians are and stuff, that, that was probably the most motivating thing for us, you know, to pave the path for all the other future Asian actors at the same time. They can make it in Hollywood as well. You were asking about uh, the response we're getting. Um, one of the major like countries that uh, respond is Vietnam and Asia in general. HK, like they're all responding to uh, this movie and that we're playing into in this movie as well. So that I mean, Asia is really engaged, engaging or trying to engage with us. So that was positive for us. Today we face the monsters that are on our door. Pacific Rim opens in theaters this week. Now, let us also talk about from Hollywood to Las Vegas as Pacific Rim also covers, actually there's two Pacific Rim, Pacific Rim video. They provide us with the interviews uh, on entertainment features here on the show and Pacific Rim is the name of the movie. All right, Pacific Rim video, they also cover the Car TV Dance Awards in Las Vegas, which was co-hosted by our very own Kababayan, Rashawn Fagan. Hey Janelle, it is burning up here in Vegas and it's not only the hot weather, it is the CAR 2013 Dance Awards in Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand. Now it's hosted by Disney Channel and fellow Cabo Bayan, Rashawn Fagan, and of course, Nickelodeon's Lauren Chavez. We also have performances by I Am Five and an appearance by Bella Thorne from Shake It Up. We're here on the red carpet, so let's check out who is here at the event. Here's our Cabo Bayan, Rashawn Fagan, on how he became part of the Car TV Awards. All of a sudden, they were just like, yo, we want you to host. Yeah. I'm like, yo, okay, yeah, yeah. let's do it. And it's, per it's perfect for you because not only, of course, shake it up, but yeah. also you're an amazing dancer and you own a dance studio, so this is going to be perfect. It's a perfect opportunity to really uh, meet my fans. You know, this demographic is, is perfectly lined up with what yeah. Disney Channel's about. And, you know, I'm just I'm just really uh, excited to meet all the fans out here. But, yeah, like I said, the dance studio is something that, you know, a lot of people don't know about. And at Car TV Awards, like, now they will. And from Car TV Dance Awards to more dancing, So You Think You Can Dance, where Chris Tronson also gets to talk to Paula Abdullah. She was a guest judge in one of the episodes recently. Hey, Janelle, we're backstage here at So You Think You Could Dance, and it was Nigel's birthday, and he brought along some special guests. Of course, we saw Mary Murphy, who he always brings, who's amazing. We love her. But he also brought along Erin Andrews. She does sports, but she also did really well dancing with the stars. And then the legendary... Paula Abdul. Let's see what she had to say about being on the show tonight and why it took her 10 seasons. It's been, I mean, to start my career as a choreographer and to be able to have the honor and the privilege to do what I love to do for all these years, it's just been amazing. And, and to, to pay tribute and respect to a show that, you know, after 10 seasons of it being on, you think about what this show's done for the industry of dance. And, and you know, at the end of the day, all a dancer ever wants is to work and to continuously work. And these, these dancers go on to have legitimate careers, and they constantly are working. So that's a blessing. We welcome our Cabo Bayan choreographers, Keone and Mari Madrid, who it was their first time choreographing on So You Think You Could Dance. All these people here uh, were so welcoming and so helpful. And, uh, yeah, I guess maybe you talk about how Yeah, we a, a lot of things worked out for us. Um, we actually... Uh, did a, a live audition in, in front of uh, the producers and they saw our Dangerous piece. They're a little bit familiar with it and they wanted it specifically for the show. Um, but we had to do some things because it was hard to get Michael Jackson music cleared for the show, which is nearly impossible. But it worked out for us and we were so happy. And even though the piece is old, like it's, it's still new to us. And this whole experience is 
it's just a blessing for us. So. You know, it's good to see Filipino choreographers. We always see we always see Napoleon on here. So what is it like kind of representing your people? You know, there's people that are going to be watching this in the Philippines and watching this in the community that are, like, rooting you on. So what do you want to say to them? And what is it like kind of representing for a huge, you know, national show? Man, we just um, we just feel so blessed to uh, represent anybody in any way, and um, we're just so thankful for everyone's support, big time. I mean, we've we've read all the tweets and all the messages, social networking, and people supporting us so much, and it, it means so much to us that people are are um, happy for us. All right, and those are just snippets of interviews from Pacific Rim Video. If you want more, here's how and where you can catch them. We are also on Sami Ma social media sites, and this is where you can catch Kababayan uh, today, also on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Twitter. Tweet with me. Tweet with me. All right. Thank you for joining us today on the show. My name is Janelle Sorry, Kababayan in Los Angeles. I'll see you again tomorrow.